Paul Ryan. Okay, we actually have to go to this. I'm sorry, caller. I'll get to you in a second. Um, give me, keep the call down because we have to do this. Paul Ryan says President Trump will not sign a short-term continuing resolution signed by the Senate. This means we're heading towards a shutdown. Uh, let's play this clip. This just happened. Now, uh, we just had a very long productive meeting with the president. Uh, the president informed us that he will not sign the bill that came up from the Senate last evening uh, because of his legitimate concerns for border security. So what we're going to do is go back to the House and work with our members. We want to keep the government open, but we also want to see an agreement that protects the border. We have very serious concerns about securing our border. So the president said he will not sign this bill. So we're going to go back and work on adding border security to this, also keeping the government open because we do want to see an agreement. With that, I'll turn to the majority leader. Uh, we believe there's still time we could have border security. You know, fundamentally, that's what America is asking for. It's one of the fundamental jobs, especially for our president as well. We had a great discussion with him there. The president said what the um, what the Senate sent over is just kicking the ball, just kicking the can down the road. We want to solve this problem. We want to make sure we keep the government open, and we're going to work to have that done and get something done. So this is all lies. Uh, predicated on a crisis that doesn't exist. It's actually predicated on a crisis that now does exist because it has been created by uh, the barbarous policies of Donald Trump and the Republican Party. Good little side note example there. Paul Ryan 100% has his back. Paul Ryan is a functional white nationalist politician. Everybody who gave him any credulous coverage should watch that again and again and review his record again and again. I'm not sure this means shutdown, though, because I I still am of the mind that some type of, you know, Trump is of the face-saving symbolic gesture that he can exaggerate, bloviate, and lie about. Uh, so it's very possible that you'll see some type of dumb, you know, we're setting aside this amount of money for this type of wall, blah, blah, blah. Let's, you know, some cash that, is obviously being completely wasted and is useless and will only add to hysteria around the situation, but can be like a political thing to kick the can down the road. So we'll see. It's nice that the media is uh, catching up to him a little bit, though, Paul Ryan. This, okay, uh, this is good. Bloomberg View, it's um, Jonathan Bernstein, I think. Is, okay. Uh, farewell, Paul Ryan. He was unusually dishonest, a fraud as a wonk, and a terrible match for the job. Beautiful. People like us were saying this in 2011, but... You know, better, I mean, I, better late than never. For real. For I, real. Better late than yes, ever. Yes, exactly. I mean, yeah. I would just quibble with, I think he's usually dishonest for a Republican, but he was he was uh, yeah. unusually good at uh, tricking liberals into thinking he was right. honest. That's what it was. But I mean, yeah, he was just a loathsome, fraud, hack, dishonest, corporate bagman, liar like the rest of them. Um, oh, let's just take this call, then we'll go. You're calling from a 347 area code. Who are you? Where are you calling from? Hello, hi. This is Ali from Astoria. Hey, Ali. What's going on? What's on your mind? Well, I wanted to say something about the deplatforming thing, but this shutdown thing, um, I'm ac I actually work for the government, um, okay. for the federal government as a contractor, and I just realized uh, we're not going to get compensated uh, for the shutdown. Uh, there's some talk about back pay, but as a contractor, you don't necessarily get that. So <sighs> it, it's going to affect me and millions of other people. Yeah. Uh, or something that doesn't exist. Something um, that doesn't exist. So there are millions of, of people who, even if it only happened, even if this thing, and I, I realize, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I must have missed, because I didn't, I didn't realize that the veto would immediately put this into effect. I thought that they actually had a, I, they must have a bit, they have a bit more time, right? The deadline's tomorrow. So look, if this well, happens. Well, we've been getting emails about this for a while. I'm sure. So if this, I just want to, I'll get back to you in a second. I just want to, uh, yeah, I want to be clear because sure. I went clearly quickly to the politics of it and what a scumbag Paul Ryan is, which are both relevant things. But yes, if this happens, even for a day, even for a couple of days, it's going to massively harm millions of government workers and people whose livelihood depends on government, which is going to be bad for each and every one of them individually and for their families. It's also going to be bad for our economy, which there's already very strong signals that the economy is about to slow down, maybe even go into recession. And it's also going to harm all sorts of other people that rely on what they euphemistically call non-essential services, which actually are the most essential things government does, <laughs> like deliver food to people, 
like key social programs, which of course need to be radically expanded and increased and universalized. So if this happens, it is squarely on Donald Trump, it's squarely on Paul Ryan, it's squarely on the racism, xenophobia, conspiracy theories of everyone who has created a completely fake crisis. It was a crisis that didn't exist when there was net uh, positive migration, and it does not exist now that there is literally net neutral migration, and it will never exist because of people seeking refuge from crises generated by U.S. foreign policy and domestic oligarchies. It's disgusting, it's immoral, and it's going to hurt people even if it only happens for a day or two. So I want to be clear about that. Ali, go ahead. Yeah, uh, everything you said is right. Um, well, okay, putting that aside and me not having a job. Um, the deep